Hey guys, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level Press Start, which is a level where you start a terrifying journey through the backrooms, and it could possibly be the worst decision you ever make. Sound fun? Well, it won't be. So buckle up and get ready for this explanation. Let's get into it, shall we? So the level entry starts with the phrase, quote, Welcome to the game of life or death. Will you win or will it be game over? Which is terrifying and a scary way to start, but it might get better. It won't. Backrooms level press start is classified as a class variable difficulty and it says it's safe and secure, but I'm not going to believe that. It also says, quote, just us at the bottom of the classification which might mean there's a weird entity or something here. Now, the level itself is split into two distinct rooms. The two rooms are called Press Start and Game Paused. Now, the first one, Press Start, is a really dark room, and I'll explain it now. The room itself is around 400 square feet in size, so it's pretty small, kind of like a living room or a big bedroom. There are absolutely no doors or windows or vents or any way out, and the floors and the walls and even the roof are all decorated with glow-in-the-dark stars and stripes, like the ones you used to put on your walls as a kid. The carpet is like an old movie theater or laser tag or arcade type carpet, and it also glows. Now, there's only one thing in the room, and it's in the very center of it on the ground, and it is an old-looking arcade machine, but I'll touch on that later. Now, not much else is known about this place, but there has been a pretty scary discovery about the walls. And if you try to break the wall or hit something or scratch it or even throw something at it, you'll instantly, and I mean instantly, get no clipped to level you cheated, which is not a fun place to be. And if you haven't seen my video on it, go check it out. It is insane. But if you try to break this room or scratch this room or try to claw your way out, you'll be sent there, no questions asked, which means that these levels are indeed connected. Now back to the arcade machine thing. The machine itself appears to everyone who gets in here. However, the game that the arcade machine is, is different for everybody. Some could see a Pac-Man game, and another person could see Dig Dug or something. But each time, the arcade machine will have words on the top that say, press start, just written right at the top. When a person approaches the machine, it will automatically boot up and turn on. You don't have to do anything, it just knows you're there, kind of like a motion sensor. And it's said that when it starts up, it makes a sound similar to the sound of an iMac starting. The machine will then load for around a minute, and after it loads, it'll show something pretty strange on the screen. It'll show a terms of service document, like the ones that you get when you open a new phone or download new software. And this is what it says. Welcome to Press Start. This game, created by Unintelligible, will give you the time of your life. And winning this easy game comes with a reward. Two, an exit back to your normal reality. But if you choose to play, be careful not to lose all your lives. And remember, there is a special punishment for those who cheat. If you wish not to play, we will bring you to another level. But if you want to reconsider, you can come back anytime. And then after it says that, there's an area where you're supposed to sign your signature that says, I, the player, agree to this game to the best of my ability. I acknowledge there is risk involved and acknowledge any harm, loss of life, or punishment is not the fault of Press Start Limited. I agree to not attempt to escape this level while the game is in session through any means, and to not attempt to cheat in any way. For all time, all rights reserved. So yeah, as you can see, something or some company has created this machine. Or it could be the backrooms actually creating it. Who knows? Let me know your theories on it down below, because I'm interested. I don't know why it would make this, but it made a machine that has these terms of services that you have to agree to. Now, after this, the game will then load something, and it'll be different for each person. But each time, there is a few common things that happen. The games that load are never real games. They're not ones from real life, but they're knockoff versions. One person said that their game was called Duty Calls instead of Call of Duty, and so on. The next thing is that the games all have a weird, scary horror aspect to them. Almost like they're all trying to scare the crap out of you. You could be playing a harmless game, 
but it would jump scare you randomly for no reason. And all of the games after you complete them at the beginning say that they were created and curated by Press Start LTD, which I'm assuming is the name of the company that made this arcade machine and maybe this level. Or is it just the back room itself? No matter what the game is, you always have one goal. You have to complete it fully. You need to beat the game 100% completion. And you can do that in a couple different ways. One way is, like I just said, to complete all the on-screen objectives and get to 100% on the completion bar. Or you can just do whatever else it says because sometimes it'll be different. But no matter what you do, you gotta beat it. And if you do, you might be sent to a level that will help you escape the back rooms, like level 3999 or another exit level. But remember, if you try to cheat the game or the machine, or if you break something in any room, you'll be sent to level you cheated. So be careful. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, there are actually two rooms here. And now I'm going to talk about that second one. It's called the Game Paused Room, and it looks pretty similar to the Press Start Room, except this one has couches and tables and almond water bottles, and there is no arcade machine. The same rules apply here too, though. Just like in the other room, if you break something or try to escape it, you'll be sent to level you cheated, no questions asked. But as you can tell by the name, Game Paused, this is where you get sent instantly if you pause the game from Press Start. So if you're bored or whatever, you press pause, you'll be sitting here. The only catch is you can only do this once. So use it wisely and then go back to beating the game. Because if you don't beat the game, well, have fun being sent to level you cheated. To enter level press start, you can lose a game on level 399, which is another exit level where it has to do tasks to escape. Now, most of the entrances to this level involve playing a random arcade game or something in general like that. So I recommend avoiding all arcade machines in this entire landscape of the back rooms just so you don't have to worry about getting sent here to exit you can either beat a game or if you lose a game you'll be sent to a bad bad level the rest of the exits revolve around losing specific games and if you're interested i recommend checking the link to the article below so you can read the full list but just know that you probably should just try to beat the game because if you don't it's not going to be good for you or well just you because you're alone have fun So yeah, that was Backrooms Level Press Start, a room where you're forced to play a game, and if you don't win, you get sent to your death. That's fun, right? Thank you for watching and supporting me. Comment Start Brugly if you are still watching, and make sure to uh, comment down there so I can leave a heart for you. I try to heart everybody I see because that, that means you're a real one. If you're watching to the end, I appreciate you. Also, make sure to comment what levels you want me to go over, what else you want to see, that kind of deal. I have a ton of stuff up my sleeve, y'all. I mean, I have a ton of things coming out, tons of new custom levels and that sort of thing. I really hope y'all are ready. Next year is about to be awesome. I mean, I have so much planned. Check out my second channel, Toogly, for daily reaction videos and funny clips of me. And if you check out Spoogly, you'll get more creepy stuff like SCPs and ARGs. Thank you for everything you do for me. I love you all. Also, I recorded this at like 4 a.m., so kind of tired, but we're having fun. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.